Mitsuko frame base plate is symmetrical in many ways. First of all, the top and bottom faces are the same. The distance or the length of the arms from the centre of the quad is the same. The only difference in the symmetry really is the slots for the battery strap. So I've decided this will be the top of the quad. I've taken a small file and under running water in the sink, I've filed back the sharp corners there where the battery strap passes through. So we can now see that this will be the top of the quad and this will be the underside. The next thing is, determine, is to determine where the front of the quad is. So being a plus style quad, the flight is led by an arm rather than an imaginary point between two arms like it is on an X quad. So if I decided that this arm would be the leading arm, so pointing in the direction of flight, I take the battery and I hold that under there. I could have built the quad this way, but the battery running longitudinally here means that it has additional weight out over the sides which is going to impede the roll of the quad. It's going to act like a balance pole held by a tightrope walker. So I decided that the battery should be mounted like so with the front of the quad here. And now the roll is not impeded at all by additional weight out to the side. The pitch axis is but I can somewhat overcome that through the use of the throttle. Uh, increasing or decreasing the throttle also helps change my altitude. So uh, I'd, I'd prefer to have it mounted like this. Uh, with that determined, it's now on to the rest of the build. For the center stack electronics, I've chosen a five volt, 12 volt combined PDB to be mounted at the bottom of the stack. I then have my Motolab Tornado flight controller. Uh, accompanying that, uh, I've taken an X4R receiver and taken the paper cover off and depinned it, uh, making it look like this. I'm actually going to look at soldering this direct on pins to the flight controller um, to save on weight and space. On top of all that, I'm going to have uh, the video transmitter. Here it is here, the modified one. I've started with the AMY 200 milliwatt video transmitter. Because it doesn't have a 90 degree uh, end on it, and I needed that to come through the, the top board there, I couldn't see any other way of doing it. Uh, I didn't have one, so I did have a pigtail. So I've modified a pigtail and the video transmitter. Uh, for this result and that will be mounted like so on top of the stack. The FreeSky X4R receiver that's been de-pinned is now connected or pinned directly to the flight controller to the SBUS signal positive and negative pins. I used a thrust measuring stand to test some prop options for this 1806 2500 kV Lumineer motor and also to test some ESC options in particular the little b 20 amp ESC and this ZTW Spider 20 amp Pro ESC as it turns out both the ESCs gave very similar results uh, both are an F3, F330 Scilabs chip uh, they gave very similar results uh, but I've decided to go with the uh, tri-blade prop and the little b ESC uh, had a 50 to 70 gram thrust advantage. Uh, so I also used a, a laser thermometer to measure the, the bell temperature after doing a 8 to 10 second full throttle run and, uh, the, and to work out which motor timing gave the, the best thrust and the, uh, the lowest heat. Uh, I've settled on high motor timing um, for the little b ESC. The Mitsuko build is now complete and I've used a clean flight here to configure the quad and set it up as a plus type quad. 
Uh, the build generally went according to plan. A few things uh, decided in the end to use these Lumineer 1806 2500 kV motors instead of the original RCX motors uh, that I had planned. Uh, something else, I was hoping to use this tiny 4 gram CMOS camera, but due to the camera bracket on this, I had to settle for using a Sony 1177, which is about 10 or 11 grams heavier. It's a very tight build, but I was still able to get a little LC filter on the VTX and camera circuit uh, buried inside that stack there. Uh, so I think that's very important considering I'm using uh, little b ESCs which have the damp light turned on. So the, uh, the thrust results for these motor prop ESC combos mean this quad has the capacity for 3,120 3,120 grams of thrust and it has an all up weight of 233 grams without a battery and 352 grams with a battery so at 350 odd grams versus the 3120 grams of potential thrust it has a power to weight ratio of 9 to 1 uh, so anybody that thinks 4 inch quads are boring I very much doubt this one will be